Today on Public Safety and Mass Transit, our fourth session. Today's date is March 12, 2013. We're in the Council Chambers in Hilo, and the time is 9.26. Please turn off your cell phones, pagers, and other mobile communication devices, or at least put them on the silent mode. I'm now calling the meeting to order. Does somebody have a gavel? Nope. I know Jay is going to be out of line oh, yeah. here any second. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's okay. This just is my emotional security blanket. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we're going to start with statements from the uh, public. Um, why may I, do you have any uh, testifiers? Uh, good morning, Chair Ford. We do not have any testifiers this morning. Thank you. Pahoa, any testifiers? Good morning, Madam Chair. We do not have any testifiers for your committee this morning. Kona, any testifiers? Good morning, Madam Chair. There are no testifiers in Kona. Thank you. Ka'u, any testifiers? Good morning, Chair Ford. You don't have any testifiers here in Ka'u. All right. We have one testifier here in, in uh, Hilo, Mr. Dan Purcell. Would please come forward? <clears throat> And you are uh, speaking on the nomination of Mr. Shimaoka. That's correct, Dan Purcell, Hilo. Good morning. Thank you. Yeah, I'm speaking on Communication 170, the nomination of Sunny Shimaoka to the uh, Hawaii County Transportation Commission. I want to uh, uh, commend uh, Mr. Shimaoka on his uh, interest in serving uh, the, the residents of Hawaii, and uh, also encourage him to take an opportunity to ride public transportation, ride the buses, um, since he'll be serving on the tra Transportation Committee. Um, I've ride the buses quite frequently and use my bicycle, and it's. Uh, uh, they're very. It's a very good system, but uh, I do have some uh, concerns about uh, the scheduling and such. And I think a good way for him to really get to know what would be to actually go out and ride the bus. I know a lot of people drive and they don't take an opportunity. You know, there's no system map for the bus. It's very confusing for a lot of riders. I've talked to a number of people on the bus who have lived on the island for many, many years, uh, sometimes over a decade, and they're confused and they don't know where the stops are and such. I just had some personal experience experiences um, uh, trying to catch the bus to the last council meetings over in West Hawaii, trying to catch the bus at the Bayfront parking lot where there is no, you know, um, no clear markings there. Uh, you get there, and I had even gone to the uh, offices in advance to try to make sure I knew where the bus stop was and that I could get to the council meetings on time. And I got there, and there was a sign there that said, uh, you know, first and third Tuesdays, it actually doesn't meet there. Um, it actually meets down at another parking lot down the street. So you got to go down the street, and there's no bus sign there. There's no bus booth there. It's in the dark. It's 3.50 in the morning. It's raining. And, uh, and the, you know, so it's very confusing. Um, the, you know, there's some other buses that come along, jackstours.com, I guess they're a contract service, and, and they, they're listed on the schedule, but uh, they pull up and they don't take bicycles, but you have no way of knowing that from the schedule. It's very confusing. And they just pull up and tell you, oops, sorry, we don't take, you know, we just don't take bikes. So you're left wondering, well, when's the next bus come by? Um, there's some other problems with the scheduling. Uh, you know, some of the names of the locations, they don't have cross streets or addresses or what have you. If you Google, as an example, Matsuyama store, there's really nothing by that name. It's Matsuyama Market. You don't know what town it's in, where it is, or anything. And so, so I I would just again encourage him to, to really understand the bus system and some of the challenges. It, as good as it is, you have to get out and ride the buses and, and really get a feel for what's going on. Um, you know, I talked to the assistant director of the Downtown Hilo Association down at the terminal in Hilo, and she was very helpful. And she has her own route map, system map that she shares with people. And um, but also, uh, you know, over in Kona, as an example, um, Kona Commons, uh, there's at the Target. You know, east are very difficult to find the bus stop over there, and that's a very big area, and that's a, a real problem. And also the bikes, uh, I guess it would be helpful if you had some uh, four bike uh, uh, carriers on the front um, instead of two or none at all, because the bikes get thrown into the cargo bay underneath, and then you get bikes laying on top of other bikes, and mine's all scratched up and torn up just in the you know month or so I've been riding the bus. So anyway, I just want to thank him again uh, for his willingness to serve, and it would encourage him to ride the bus and, and get to know the transportation system. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Dan. 
All right, seeing no other um, testifiers, I first would like to introduce the members of the committee, starting with my left, Mr. Onishi, uh, Ms. Willie, Ms. Poindexter, to my extreme right, Mr. Uh, Ilagon, Mr. Kern, Mr. Kanuha, Ms. Eoff, and Mr. Yoshimoto, and I'm Brenda Ford, the chairperson of this committee. All right, uh, we're going to referrals now. Um, Mr. Clerk. Communication 170, nomination of Oliver Sunny Shimooka to of Council District 9 to the County of Hawaii Transportation Commission from Mayor William P. Kanoi dated February 5th, 2013, requesting the Council's review and favorable recommendation of the above nomination. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Please go ahead. Oh, sorry about that. May I have a motion to uh, approve communication 170? So moved. Second. Go ahead. Morning, Madam. morning, Madam Chair, members of the committee. Uh, Mr. Shimoka is not with us this morning. Do you still want me to read in his... Um... Hold on. Your, your mic is really low. And I want the mic turned up, please. Okay, thank you. Hold on a second. I'm going to allow you to start over again, please. <coughs> Okay, try it again. Let's see if that's loud enough. Okay, good morning, Madam Chair. Thank you. Members of the committee. Uh, Mr. Shimaoka is not with us this morning. Do I, would you still like me to read in his? Yes, please, uh, and I still need a little more volume. Go ahead. Is he, is he physically in another office? Uh, no, he is not. I thought he was going to be here, but he is not, so. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay, Mr. Sunny, Oliver Sunny Shimaoka is the mayor's nominee from Council District 9 to the Hawaii County, Hawaii, um, County of Hawaii Transportation Commission. He is a lifelong resident of Hawaii and he is the senior pastor at New Hope in Waimea. He is a board member of the Kaheo Laulani Health Clinic and a past board member of the neighborhood place of Kona and Hospice of Kona. He states that he is not affiliated with any political party and if he is confirmed, he'll serve a term to expire on December 31st of 2016. He replaces John Fernandez, whose term expires expired on December 31st of 2011. Okay, <clears throat> before I open this up um, for discussion, I would just like to let you know that we would expect him to be at the next meeting, whether it's here at the committee or if it's up at council, he needs to appear. All right, I'm gonna open this up for any comments, Mr. Kanuha. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I also agree that, uh, like with all the other nominees who haven't shown up on the day that we we are doing the confirmations, that he do show up either on the next one or, um, like Ms. Ford said, uh, I wish he was here to hear the testimony uh, presented earlier. It's That was um, some good testimony, and maybe if we can get the exact testimony of what he said for Mr. Shimoka to hear for the Transportation Committee, that'd be a plus too. So uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Thank, thank you. you. I will let him know. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay, we're going to do a voice vote on this one. Mr. Clark. Ms. Eoff. Aye. Mr. Iligan. Aye. Mr. Kanuha. Aye. Mr. Kern. Mr. Onishi. Aye. Ms. Poindexter. Aye. Ms. Willie. Aye. Mr. Yoshimono. Aye. Chair Ford. No. Chair, you have eight ayes. Thank you. All right. Um, that uh, the nomination will move forward to the council with a positive recommendation. Mr. Clerk, please read the next communication. Communication 171, nomination of Brian H. Lindsay to the County of Hawaii Liquor Control Adjudication Board. Mayor William P. Kanoi dated February 12, 2013, requesting the council's review and favorable recommendation of the above nomination. May I have a motion to approve communication 171? Second. Okay. Char. Okay, good morning. Again, my um, Mayor Kinoy's nominee to the Hawaii Liquor Control Adjudication Board is with us this morning. He is Brian Lindsay. He is a lifelong resident of Hawaii and is currently the Hawaii Island Manager of Hawaii Telecom. He previously served on the ha County of Hawaii Water Board 
and he's a member of the Hilo Bay Rotary Club, the Hawaii Island Chamber of Commerce, and the Royal Order of Kamehameha. If confirmed, he will serve a term to end on December 31st of 2017. Thank you. Before we open it for discussion, do you have any comments you'd like to make about wh why you would like to serve on this board? <coughs> well, as mentioned, I just uh, finished my term on the water board, and at that point, uh, there was some relief, and I felt, well, I've, I've done my duty, and I was pro approached and asked if I would consider uh, serving in another capacity, uh, to which I said it would be a privilege to serve whatever I can do. Uh, so that's how I ended up sitting in front of you today. Thank you very much. Any comments, Mr. Ilagan? Mr. Lindsay, thank you for serving your prior service in the Water Board Commission, and congratulations on stepping up. I do want to point out some things I was hoping you could look into. Hawaiian Paradise Park, we, in that subdivision, we were on catchment, and we're looking at installing a spigot there. I just want to put this into your mind, and hopefully you can consider... Wait, wait, wait excuse me, Mr. Ilagan. This is the Liquor Control Adjudication Board. Okay. Okay. I apologize. Yeah, he's, he's I already thought you finished. were going into the water board. No, he's My, leaving the water commissions. Well, if you know any members in the water board, please <laughs> let them know about this. Because right. Hawaiian Paradise Park and all of Puna, I want to really help them and serve them. Mr. Congratulations. Mr. Issue has been raised before in front yes. of the <laughs> Okay, wait, let's not talk about that uh, because of the Sunshine Law. Um, Mr. Kern. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, thank you, Mr. Lindsay, for your willingness to serve and your continued service. Um, didn't know you before this morning I met you but I've heard great things about you in the community that you're on uh, your previous time on the commissions that you've had you know you, you read you, you, you get into it and you actually take it very serious and, and again with any commission that's what we need we need commissioners that are, are going to take this serious because um, decisions that you folks make affect, affect our um, island um, so I, I totally support you and I hope uh, just continue the great service and, and look forward to seeing what you do so thank, thank you, you very much. thank you very much Miss um, Willie um, thank you for your public service on the water board, and um, now we know of another knowledgeable person there and continuing on to this other board. Um, just, uh, can you, I notice a number of people or members of the Royal Order of Kamehameha, and I don't know if that's on your um, resume, and I just wondered if you would mind taking a word, saying a word or two, it's not something... Um, that I'm knowledgeable, I feel like I should be, and um, just what is that Royal Order of Kamehameha? Uh, I will try to keep it brief. Uh, okay. <laughs> it forward to get go real close. Thank you, sir. Okay. Essentially, that was established by Kamehameha the Fifth, so it is the only organization that carries its line back to the original monarchy. Uh, what we try to do is we try to perpetuate uh, moving the Hawaiian people, the Hawaiian children, the culture forward. Uh, we try to perpetuate Hawaiian values, not only in the Hawaiian community, but the Hawaii community as a whole and share. And uh, we provide services that you know we can afford. We, we uh, try to stir up fundings for projects that will um, help students and, you know, the kupuna in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Um, Yoshimoto. Uh, good morning, Mr. Lindsay. Good morning. I want to thank you for your prior service, and uh, I think you know you have my support. Thank you for your good work. Thank you. <coughs> Anyone else? Okay. A voice vote. Mr. Clark. Ms. Eoff. Aye. Mr. Iligan. Aye. Mr. Kanuha. Aye. Mr. Kern. Aye. Mr. Onishi. Aye. Ms. Poindexter. Aye. Ms. Willie. Aye. Mr. Yoshimoto. Aye. Chair Ford. Aye. 
Chair, you have nine eyes. Thank you. Congratulations. Um, you, uh, we don't need to bring him back. Okay. Um, this will move forward to council <clears throat> with a positive recommendation. You do not need to come to the next meeting. The council has unanimously said that they've seen enough and talked to you and we're, we're welcome aboard. So thank you much. Should we take a short break and congratulate him? Thank you. Just a short recess. Nuha second by Ms. Eoff. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. aye. Any opposed? We're adjourned.